Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan. Today I'm going to be reviewing some landing pages and showing you what people are doing right and what they're doing wrong. Let's get into it. Alright, so I'm just in my computer right now and I'm just going to review three product, uh, landing pages of three different brands. So I'm going to show you across a spectrum, across the industry, across different types of products. You have to use landing pages to really warm up your customer from cold traffic to warm traffic. So you're running your ad from social media and then you're bringing them to your landing page, be it an informational page or a product page, okay? So the first one, the first example of here, uh, it's Bellroy. So Bellroy is a slim, is a, they sell leather wallets, but they are, their selling point is basically, it's very slim. So this is the exact landing page that I've uh, gone from, from directly from the Facebook ad. Uh, this is their landing page, okay? So as you can see here, what they do well, uh, landing page is that because their selling point, their unique selling point is the slimness of it, right? There's literally a slider right here that will allow me to show how the wallet changes. So very visual and a very interactive sort of platform that is very, very good because it really engages uh, the audience and the customer. Next thing, there's a video. So they are definitely good in their department in the sense that they are video optimized. And the next thing would be, they are such a minimalist brand. They don't really need to say much to show uh, the features of their products. So as you can see here, they just show the different, uh, the different sides of their own wallet and the different features that the wallet offers. So, okay, and the last thing would be the email list show you the product and uh, the types of um, colors and products that you can buy. So you can immediately click through to one of these product pages to immediately buy. So I would say that is a very, very good, uh, optim well optimized landing page because number one, they hit you with video. They hit you with interactive pieces, right? Video is an interactive piece as well, but uh, this is custom HTML and you may not be able to do this uh, as a small company, but uh, this is something that is very good and can be done over, uh, anyone, can be, anyone can do this. So you start off with a video probably and then you move on to uh, just features and maybe up a photo right here instead of this uh, slider sort of thing. Okay, so this is very, very manageable as well. And this is just uh, the collection, basically a simple carousel. All right, the next landing page that we're gonna review is believe it or not, the, one of the biggest companies in the world, it's Apple. So people don't give uh, Apple the credit that, des that they deserve because everything, they are a trillion dollar company and they do things very, very well and their marketing is just impeccable. And you can just see in their product page. So uh, they're, they're, this is their landing page, right? Their landing page is very sleek. Uh, it tells you every single thing about the product and they value it at every single part of it. Uh, I'm not sure whether they use a video quite a bit, but so as you can see here, so they're just introducing the product. You scroll down, yes, there's a video. Immediately, they hit you with something interactive uh, from your landing page. The next thing, they have a uh, really nice, beautiful, contrasting uh, colors, and then they immediately go into the product, all right? So after the product, then they hit you back with more and more features. So they just value pack the entire product, even though, I mean, this is all custom HTML as well, but with a simple landing page builder, uh, that you can just buy for like $9.99 per month as a plugin or an app uh, for your Shopify store or, or whatever, uh, WordPress, uh, Elementor, any, anything that you're using, this is very, very uh, possible, right? You don't need uh, these fancy graphics because they only add to the visual. But what you need is um, to basically tell your customer and in an aesthetically pleasing way, uh, the, the features of your product that you're selling. I mean, they, they have great visuals here as well. You may not have that, but that, that is not necessary to create a well-optimized landing page, okay? So I'm just gonna scroll down. So basically after they give you all these value, all of these features, then they, they bring you to, uh, to allow you to press uh, to the product page from this landing page. All right, the last one would be Moz. So Moz is basically a keyword uh, research tool that is, uh, yeah, it's just a software. So coming from their, their Facebook app, uh, Facebook ad, right? Let me just show you uh, their original app, uh, original ad.
All right, so this is the ad that Moz put out. So Moz is a keyword research tool software uh, in, the, in the internet marketing sphere. And so basically, as you can see here, they're running a different type of ad. So in terms, uh, in types of landing pages, there's the informational page, as well as there is your standard landing pages, which I showed you in Bellroy and Apple as well. So this is the last one where this informational piece is giving value, right? It's giving, it's prompting someone to seek uh, certain information that they, they may possibly be useful to them in their niche to and in this case uh, This is to teach people how to use SEO and the quick fix for it. So um, Immediately go on to the article that uh, is from that Advertisement and as you can see here, they talk about how to fix uh, Competitive keywords redirect chains duplicate content all these issues that people face uh, when they are doing SEO for their website so this is giving value because um this is really teaching the customer how to use the Moz platform to really solve these issues. And in this article, because um, it's not just an ad, right? It's not just a video or product straight from the Facebook page. There's so much that uh, the, Moz, the Moz marketing team can speak to the customer, can really address the pain points that, may, that they uh, potentially have. And uh, they're just jam-packed with all of this content. As you can see here, video optimized as well, photo. And uh, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of video, so that's good. I mean, they're, they're definitely doing things right. And the thing is that uh, you may think that they only may prompt you at the end, right? So just now I, I showed you the, there was a button, yep. So take Moss Pro for a spin. So this is basically uh, pointing you to the product page immediately. And this call to action is very, very prominent because as you can see here, Moss, right? All of their logos are really blue, but they, they purposely put this as orange to really uh, ca catch your attention and catch, uh, catch you to really press that button uh, after just reading the first paragraph. So. Although you may not be uh, encouraged to click the button here and click through, right? They, they engage you with more content. And at the end of it, as you can see, that's another one. Yeah, so at the end of it, then they will, they will basically keep prompting you throughout this informational piece to try out uh, their, and bring, bring, them, bring you into the ecosystem of their product. So as you can see here, all of the top marketers in the world, all the top companies in the world are using landing pages to really educate their audiences in a way and to really give them value upfront. So this is something you need to do and it's not very difficult to do. So if you want to do an informational piece, for example, you can just write a blog article and you can just drive traffic to it. And then at the end of it, and of course in the middle of it as well, you put these call to action buttons and remember to put video into these landing pages of yours. All right, so that's about it. Um, I hope you gain value from this video. Feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you next one. And uh, thank you for watching.